Yes, the game is not finished yet. It is an early access. I'll just use my Steam credentials. I think that would be fine. So, now there's a lot to customize about a character, isn't there? Let's start with... Hmm... I think I'm gonna roll a dude. Big, small. Big, small. Big, small. Hmm... I like to be looking down upon people. Let's, uh, let's get a nice tone there. Let's see. I think that's more where I'm looking for the guy. Alright. Let's give him a historic name here. Not allowed. Is it just mundane that's not allowed? I bet it is. Let's try. Is that the main combination? Yeah, I'll do that one. Nope, they aren't going to allow that, are they? Yeah, I figured those names would be taken. change it up. There we go. Monday in Exodus. Sounds good. Sounds kind of funny. Sounds good though. All right. It needs to be someone who can Blend in. Hmm. What's gonna blend the best? Probably just the slick. Facial hair. This guy a mustache? Let's see. That's not too bad. Full beard, fancy mustache, that looks pretty good actually. That looks pretty good. Very, I'm not going to say forgettable, but dashing, but able to blend in. Let's 
give him a nice stern expression. No, that's a little too far apart. Can't make his eyes too small, because then it'll look like he's squinting or something. He needs to be able to see what's going on ahead of him. But at the same time, I don't want giant Disney eyes. There we go. That's getting more at that kind of stern expression I'm looking for. Those eyes are a little too sunken in, I think. Uh, <laughs> that's a little funny. So what gives the best stare down look? I think, uh, I think this looks good. Iris eyes. Uh, don't want to go too Disney and don't want to go villain. I think towards the middle is probably pretty good. Let's give him an appropriate color. This is a man from another land. Let's give him something appropriately, uh... Appropriately themed. Slate gray look for the eyes. So maybe iris size. Eh, I just want it to be expressive enough that the color can be seen. So how's it going, everybody in chat? Let's see who's hanging out right now. Uh, Feminator, Item, I want Punk here, King, Fun, Naku, Panda, Remio, and Wick. Hello, everybody. Once again, we're looking for someone with a stern expression here. to have a beavis hook on his nose. Doesn't need to be like that. Doesn't need to be an upturned ogre nose. Let's just keep it pointed forward. That makes sense. Tip shape. Let's keep it sharp. This is a chiseled man here. Tip protrusion. Keep it proportional here. Let's get that bridge down though, so it doesn't look like he's been wonked in the face too many times here. A nice flat bridge lets you know you haven't been knocked in the face too many times. Your nose gets all big and bulby and bumpus the more it gets whacked. There's a tough guy right here. <laughs> Hahaha, I got you, Remio. All good, all good, my man. Oh, I see length is top to bottom. Well, let's see, how close do I want the nose to the mustache? So 
So here it looks like he's uh, really got a long face. Let's uh, let's keep this one a little bit towards the middle, I think. There we go. That looks good. Top width. Yeah. That looks good. Mid width. Good. It'll have a bit of a, a widening taper to it. Yeah, Relic EW uh, Relics. I've uh, I've had it on the plate here for a little bit to play, but this is my first time actually getting on in here, and I uh, figure I'll start up a character and get on in. Devin, how's it going, man? Welcome, welcome. Yep, pre-alpha. Um, Devin, if you're interested in, in getting in on some pre-alpha action, hit me up uh, sometime. We'll talk about that. <laughs> Relics, you got it. Yeah, I'll make this just a little bit wider. Or narrower, rather. So that I can then make the nostril a little bit wider. There we go. Let's see, can I make it... Even narrower. Yeah, I'll narrow it down even more and make those nostrils gigantic. This is a chiseled man here, everybody. Very handsome. Yeah, it's pretty good character customization. So let me just kind of go back through from the beginning here. So you get skin tone, gender, Get your height slider. Damn, he does look kind of tough now. Kind of looking down, big old tall guy like that. Using a semi-historical name there. You got a lot of different hairstyles, facial hairstyles. The hairstyles are great for the ladies, but I feel like there's not not quite as many that are as workable for the guys. But you know, if you want to wear a bun, you want to wear a bun. I ain't gonna say no. Uh, Stride of the Avatar is an MMO made by the uh, creator of the Ultima franchise, uh, Lord Gary or uh, Lord British Richard Lord Garriott. Yeah, he love that. Uh, Richard Garriott, aka Lord British. <laughs> and uh, in terms of the content of gameplay, I'll tell you in just a moment when I start playing it. I've seen some people play it a bit, but not really getting my hands on actually controlling the character. It's uh doesn't fully uh, give me a chance to explain. Let's see. I don't know. It's hard to see through the mustache. I'll just leave that in the middle. Let's see this how this works. Hey, I got a big mouth. Kind of like having his mouth be a little bit smaller, so looks like he's upset about things. I'm about to tell you. Position. <laughs> herp, derp, herp, derp, herp, derp. Okay. Now let's keep him in the middle here. Mustache should remain right above the upper lip and right below the nose. Cheekbones, cheekbones. When I make his cheekbones big, he's gonna have a nice, big, tough-looking head, like that big, like steroid user-looking face.
gonna make some kind of funny looking protrusions on the side there. Let's uh, let's keep that down. I actually kind of like it about there in the middle. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's more of the goal, is more of like a, a soft class system where you pick the skills. Um, like I said, I'll have to get into it to really be able to say. Jaw plane. Alright, let's see. Oh no, this guy's gonna have a giant jaw. Jaw, corner roundness. This is one I can't really see with the beard. So I'm not really gonna mess with it. Protrusion. No, that blows out the, the beard a little bit. Let's actually let's take the jaw protrusion down a little so that way it's a nice trim line there from the hair to the beard. Chin protrusion. Now again, that should probably stay a little on the shorter side so the beard isn't affected. That looks good. Alright. Let's try some gameplay then. See what it's all about here. It's gonna probably give me some introduction sort of stuff. Edvard. You know that's that's one of those things that I'm uh, I'm not so sure about. I'd like an option where I can just click the options that I know I can type. No, not shroom, shroud, dorkish. You got to put a kappa after statements like that. You need a sword, don't you? Uh, no. Give me a. I really want a halberd, actually, Edvard the Wanderer. I'll take a sword. But I want a halberd. Dude, you just said that again. You're not like talking to a player. <laughs> oh, well, all right, enough, enough jerking around the NPC here. Yes, give me an S word. rack right behind you. You got it. Where right behind you? So you are just facing this way. There isn't a... Oh! Oh! It is off to the side behind you. I drag it to my inventory. All right. Oh. Equip. I see. Okay, 
so the character will auto attack and then you can throw in additional attacks as you need to and then that's my abilities or if I want to stem abilities they're not only on timers but they also use energy Powerful melee attack, great. Two quick melee attacks, awesome. Attack that increases defense, okay. Damage over time. Hard hit, double hit, defensive hit, dot, and reduces damage received from the next enemy attack. Dodge. Well, fantastic. And up here. Stillness, crit bonus, minus 25% glyph focus cost, well that's lovely. Dodge, alright. Yeah, I know, that hit sound. Oh well. Loot the dead. Loot the dead. Remember, ye young adventurers, loot thy dead. Loot thy dead. So that's a gate. This is also a gate. I don't want to kill the army of undead. Like, why can't I just do that? I'll take a quiver. Sure. Now, where's my arrows? I'll take two quivers. And the basket. Nope. Okay. Got anything else, buddy? Got a bow for me? So I've got two quivers and no bow. Can I, I can't take the shovel. Well, I could go through the gate or I could peer out across the battlement to see what's ahead of me. Which is what a wise adventure would do. a little dangerous. Let me uh, traverse this rubble here. Get a better perspective from the battlements. Yep. It looks bad. It looks real bad. I don't know how we're going to put that fire out. This place is kind of screwed. Dorkish, do you even have any sense of role playing? Or are you just min maxing this game? So, where's the lever to open this thing again? It isn't just a quick quick, is it? Nope. Oh, there's the lever. That would be nice if I actually had to, like, click and pull it down. That would be... That would be rather immersive, I believe. That door opening sound kind of sounded like some, uh... I don't know, it reminded me like something from a Final Fantasy game. Shield, huh? Equip a round shield. Loot thy dead. If I was thy real badass, I would just use that catapult and fling myself at them or something. 
No escape for you. Aha, I strike you. Aha, damage over time somehow. You are a bleeding skeleton, a skeleton that can bleed. The city will fall. Dude, I just made you bleed. You're a skeleton. Like, <laughs> I got this. You guys are toast. Loot thy dead. A rusty S word. I'm assuming encumbrance is a thing, so I'll probably have to address that at some point. But, uh, first I'm going to loot thy dead. Hey, buddy. You sound like a dog. You sound like some sort of wolf. Big Dog Gaming, thank you very much for the follow. I really appreciate it, and uh, welcome to the Neuro Network. I really didn't do the whole marketing thing with the Neuro Network. I probably should get that out <laughs> again. <laughs> Actually build it up. Alright, what do you have? You also have a rusty S-word and some gold. Luke thy dead. Added encumbrance? Great. I'm, I'm, I, actually, I will say I came in at the right time because I would have hated not having encumbrance and having to start dealing with encumbrance. <laughs> Luke thy dead. Loot thy sandbags! Oh, a letter. Loot thy sandbags? Another letter and a mug of beer. That's, uh... What is in these letters? Are these readable letters? Or is it just like a letter printed on a piece of paper? Or, uh... What do you mean when you say letters exactly? Hey you! And bleeding skeleton! And haha, dodgy mode! And double strike! Oh, and when I kill you with the double strike, you wolf growl twice. Well, ain't that lovely. Funny around a thousand swords and bows. Yeah, but I'm used to naked mining from Ultima Online. I like how the, the corpse kind of wiggles when you access it to show that you are actually kind of, you know, disturbing a body. Letters. So that was Q. I think that was H. And that was M? I don't know. I don't know these letters. Hey, dude! It ain't safe out here. Why are you just standing there, buddy? You're some sort of badass? back inside the walls. Pick up and drop the ore, or you just do one step at a time to get back home, or really the point of naked mining is that you can maximize your inventory and then run back uh, without being completely encumbered. Can I exit myself from combat? Securing the skeletons. Heal you up. Come back. Scroll to open this portal. It's a soul town. This lunar rift is inactive. Fire surrounding us. There's an undead army up the road. Any bearings. Well, thanks, buddy. I'm not done with this area yet. You might be. To Soul Town. I'm just in run around in loot mode right now. I'm gonna run around and loot this place. Yeah, you can't press the Z key while you're in conversation because that that just produces the letter Z. to drink from these waters. Yeah, yeah, Davin, exactly. That's what I was saying. I mean, on one hand, they touted how it's, you know, getting back to old school mechanics. On the other hand, on Theory Forge, I think a lot of us agree, 
that's one of those old school mechanics that bothered players, that makes us grumble. I... Yeah. So I hope that portal holds out for a little bit, because I want to explore. Yeah, I know there's nothing else to do, and they probably don't have any other interactions for the exploratory. Whatever. Can I at least cut this tree down? It's a tree. I've got an axe. I should be able to cut it down. Come on. This isn't the right time to be a lumberjack. You know, the more of these trees I cut down, the more lumber we get, and we don't just get piles of ash. But, uh, you know what? I don't know if that's the sort of thing you really care about. Stonehenge! No! You blew it up! You are animals! Or, I don't know, I haven't seen that movie in years. Damn you all to hell! There we go. <laughs> you all know I was talking about Planet of the Apes. I'm sure, right? Because <laughs> if you don't, you need to watch the original. Oh, sorry, I had to get my butt rail socket before I take off through the portal, everybody. Can I knock it out of the water? Okay. I was about to say, that's a great way to end the tutorial. <laughs> red trees. I don't see no red trees around here. Alright. Soul Town. Need some loading screen music there for sure. much of a tutorial area you can't use it to tutorial on all the things but uh we can pet this kitty right
Wrath Phoenix, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, like I was saying there, I'm probably going to be very sarcastic about the silly stuff that I come across. Like that tutorial, it <laughs> pulling the lever would have been a, a nice little, you know, click and drag sort of thing. But uh, yeah, let's see. Or what those letters are all about. All right, things are claimed by people and stuff. Hey, I'm barging into your houses, everybody. What you got in the chest? What you got in the chest? All right. Can't open the chest. Oh, I should close that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure, right, Phoenix? I don't need to have to be yelling over the game here. There we go. Hey. That looks like some sort of alpha issue, like, uh, I don't know, we've seen a lot of stuff like that with, uh, SSAO and Unity. Like, transparent? No, we're just gonna draw them through the other side, some sword order stuff, actually. I love how shift does the opposite of what you would expect it to. In most games I play, when I press shift, that engages sprint. Here, when I press shift, I uh, stop. Crafting. The font, that book right there, I need to be able to expand. It is way too tiny. I don't want to have to lean forward to look at the text here. Uh, it's, yeah, that's way, way, way too tiny. Not that my vision's poor or anything, but, uh... Just make it bigger. Make it more readable. And I think that's also a resolution thing. I don't think it's it reads this small at a lower resolution, but, uh, 1920 by 1080, it's, uh... It's a little fine for what I'm trying to do here. I would not put my meat on that filthy, filthy table. My goodness. Like, that's... You're just asking for foodborne pathogen. It's just got, like, fish and chunks of meat just hanging there. It's just, like, blood everywhere and stuff. Just bucket of refuse or whatever that's been sealed off and you're just putting stuff on top of it. Oh, man. That's... That's gross. I'd, I'd rather own my own cooking table than use that thing. <laughs> that just sounds like a, a recipe for intestinal tragedy. <laughs> Need to get some scrubbing buckets and stuff. Okay. That's definitely magic going on here. Just just gonna say. This is, this is magical. This better be like the magic shop or something. I like that sound effect. Nice bassy sort of sound effect for that teleporter. That's really cool. Nice little inlays and stuff going on the columns there. It's a nice house. What is this for selling stuff? No, shut it off. What the heck was that? Okay. I already made one original Planet of the Apes reference. Ne need I make another one here? I think I'll, I'll think I'll just leave it. I'll I'll have to do that in another stream. Basement. 
Ah, the National SLETA radio station, the Shroud of the Avatar Radio. Why distorted guitars? There's chests everywhere, but I can't open any of them. Ah, big fan of UO. Yeah, this is, uh, same guy, um, you know, one to two, maybe even, would you, we could even willingly call it three generations of MMO technology later. Alright, let's see. Where are my coconuts? This on the ground. Oh, it's just a bag. Now that I'm not in combat, what can I actually do with these letters? Anything? No. <laughs> Aha! Light source off. It's the tanning table. This is the tanning table. One of these is a bucket of bird poop. Just say it. Uric acid. Radio station coated and molded by players. Very cool. Alchemy table. So it looks like if I want to craft anything, I can do it here. But from the sound of it, I can't harvest anything, so it's like... It's there, but uh... Hmm. Hey you, guess what? I dance on your grave, 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 I dance on your grave. Okay. Guard should take me or me if I actually do something like that and they catch it. That's um it's a little rude. Hey, you there. Let's see. Good day. Offer a special reward for traveling around the fair land. Simply find me at the following location Soul Town, Spectral Mine, Solace Forest, Adaris, Town Square, and the Necropolis. Find me and speak to me in all the places. You get a special reward that can only be earned this month. Well, I better hurry up on that. <laughs> Fan of Ultima, this is for you. Best masterpiece, Lord Greer. Damn it, I said Lord Gary to get Lord British or Richard Gary, and I can't just keep mashing them together. <laughs> or I guess I could, I don't know. That's, uh. <laughs> Lumikins, yeah. That one's. Well, maybe a little bit of a different sort of game, but, uh, yeah. That's good. I said thanks, and you're apologizing. Alright, buddy. See, that's that's kind of the, 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 the main downside to me of something where you're supposed to use text to communicate with the NPCs. Because really, it's just a list of keywords and, uh, you know, pre-planned things that you can't really do anything special with. And if it is, it's because somebody said, hey, go to this NPC and type this phrase and you'll get, you know, a, you get a rise out of them or whatever. When I want to say, you know, hello and thank you and please and ask a general question and they just deflect because, you know, oh, sorry, I'm just an AI unit. That, that, that breaks the immersion for me far more than having to just select things from a list and have that be that. So, um, what do you folks think about the subject? What do you folks think?
Are these even players? I think these are players. I've got stuff to sell you. Sell from inventory. Rusty sword. Rusty sword. Rusty sword. Yeah, they're not doing anything for me. Oh, that's cute. The little sign thing there. And to display names overhead. Lovely. Oh no, they're just tan pants. Thank you very much, Big Dog Gaming. from you. I think, uh... I kind of wanted a spear, but clearly I, uh... I don't have the financial permissions to acquire one. Or do I? Maybe I do. It's a weight 400, okay. doesn't really have any attributes above and beyond what I already have with a bridge defender sword. I don't really think that's doing anything for me. Let's see. War axe. Again, not really, not really improving me much. The only thing that's really given me anything special here is if I get this longbow going. I just want one longbow. Absolutely, Troy. It's uh, it is a pleasure to be able to play this here and uh, have everybody tune in and check it out and enjoy it. Oh, I almost wonder if armor is going to be the better thing for me. What do I currently have equipped? Leather chest armor, cloth leg cloth leggings. Uh, I don't have any better pants here. Cloth shoes. Hmm. What's the one do for me? Really much of a wand, wand tier, wand near, wandalero. What's somebody who uses a wand called? Not a wizard. Oh yeah, streamer. Switch to the community. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh. So I think, yeah, a bow and uh, some arrows is about all I want to get here. Let's get, I don't know, let's start with 25 arrows and see how we like it. Alright. Spoiler alert's a really fun game, by the way, uh, since you mentioned it there. And I had a quiver somewhere. Did my quivers disappear? Nope. But I can't use them. I have quivers. I cannot use quivers. Okay, fine. Whatever. Whatever. It's all good. Skills trainer. What you got? She's a category. Adventuring. Got two points. Crafting. See, combat, blades, light armor, 
Okay, magic. All right. Does everybody start with the same attributes? Tactics. What's tactics? Hmm. Hmm. Let's get some ranged skills going here. Let's get an aimed shot. And that's all I can get. And then what's tactics do for me? There's health and regeneration rates. Oh yeah, that sounds great. Alright, and then what about crafting? Gathering, that's all I can do. That's all good. Tactics to raise health and strength? Yep. Right, you must visit a trainer to change your skills. Okay, well how do I how do I remove points if I want to remove points, or is that not the sort of thing you can do in this game? I don't think that is the sort of thing you can do in this game. Okay. So when I press Z, I bring out my bow. Yeah, tactics make sense. Crafting events, cool. Town crier. Well, town crier already, buddy. Let's see. I don't know what any of it does. Let's uh let's see. How do I use my snowball box? It's not an equip and right click is destroy and I don't want to destroy. Let's see, mug of beer. Oh, I can drink a mug or I can equip a mug of beer. Equip. Equip. Oh, that's lovely. Lord Arthur, King of the Britons. <laughs> I'm guessing this is how I exit the town. Aha, there is a gate. map is there a map nope all right let's go let's see what's out here pack slayer yes yes i saw the events going on for pack slayer uh missed out on him but that's fine uh before i take to adventure i'll be back in just a moment
Alright. I meant to pour myself a beverage, but I didn't. Cheers to new beginnings, everybody. <laughs> hmm. What's good in Core Coast? across again. You're the banker. You don't look like a banker. You look like something else that starts with the W and sounds about the same. What's this? Oh, I walk up and then the lights come on. Well, that's fancy. I would imagine moisture from this would cause the wood to get kind of worn out over time, but, uh, hey, who am I to judge? It's a nice, fancy place. That's oh, a nice building. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty awesome, Ziff. It is quite a lovely reference to uh, Monty Python in one of their uh, most enjoyable films. However, now I am seeking the exit. I gotcha. Gotcha, Zip. Just in case I actually do need to fight something, let me put that up. Veiled Swamp, huh? Patsy Night Servant, nice. Retreat, retreat. Clearly, a basic timber wolf is way too powerful for a bow and an arrow. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Wrath Phoenix, that's awesome. Well, as much as I don't want to, I think the easiest way to get general combat points is probably going to be using the sword and the shield and then investing that later into the um, into the bow. So let's try this again here. It's a wolf! How many arrows can it take? I mean, seriously, it's, it's a wolf. Alright, let's try this again. Hey, where'd that wolf go? You. Defense. No, nope, that's a large one. The first one was just called a basic one. Ah, I got you, dorkish. Hmm. Let's try it again. Let's find a normal wolf, not a large one, and try taking it down. And then afterwards, I'm going to be heading off because I got a meeting in a few minutes. <laughs> But I'll probably be back throughout the week, on the weekends, and all sorts of other, other times. It's still too powerful. Well, what the heck? What am I supposed to fight for my first enemies here? And do I get partial experience for fighting something tougher than me, running away to live about it? Um, because that would make sense. Yeah, Jane Signal Shroud of the Avatar. This is something you would probably stream, right? I know you've been on a. Uh, 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 Kind of a cyberpunk thing recently but for some reason i imagine you would probably really enjoy this you know being an old school gamer and everything uh did I enter something? I did get my health up. Hey. Hey, where's the exit to this place? I don't want to fight nothing. Get the heck out of here. Yes, yes, Jane Signal. Yes, I am. Oh, I'm just fine, dorkish. <laughs> While I might not get points for it, I'm definitely getting better at escaping in this game. Let's see, is there a place where I can get an encounter that's maybe not a swamp?
So I wonder. Where, oh, where is the newbie dungeon? Because that wasn't it. And I believe these are all uh, player towns here. You know what? I'm going to get a weapon up just in case I do get random attacked here again. Defenders S word. this way and see where it takes me. It's right next to the starter town? Okay. Man, movement gets really stiff when you're in those kind of slower areas and I don't have any idea why I slow down for any reason on the over map here. So if that could be explained better somehow, that'd be great because... You know, I'm, I'm walking through an area that looks like the normal speed, then all of a sudden I'm walking in an area that doesn't appear to be working the same. Alright, place right next to the town. So... Uh, not Corcos, I've been in there. Uh, lump Dizzle. Added me to the friends list. Veiled Swamp was a little too dangerous. Is this... Is this the place? Alright, you lovely folks, um, I have to get going. Like I said, I have a meeting, and uh, I, I definitely need to be there for it. So I'll definitely be continuing this later on this week, maybe later tonight. But uh, we're going to be bringing this to a close here. And uh, I will... I will bring this party to another Shroud of the Avatar streamer. Give me just a moment to figure out which one. Who do I know? Oh my goodness! Like, I've got more viewers than all the other sh viewers combined. We gotta, we gotta do something about this. New Britannia News Network? That sounds like a legitimate sort of thing. Let's bring the party over there, everybody. All right, thank you very much, and uh, Dorkish, but you won't be on till a new release. You got it, Dorkish. We'll definitely play together at some point here. So, that's where we're going to be bringing things here, folks. Thank you all very much, and you can drop a uh, Neuro Raid on your way in there. That would be much appreciated. See you there.